It is easy to make promises during election campaigns, but Utoni says it is always a challenge to turn those promises into reality. It was easy at the time when they were campaigning. You know, when they were campaigning, they were giving a lot of promises that no, we are going to do A, B, C, D, do what, 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 what. But the reality on the ground is not the same like what they were promising. Now, when they came into the office, you know, they find it very, very difficult because we are saying more especially the local authority set up. It uh, has got its own dynamics. And now, to the, when they came in the office, they were so surprised that no, so I cannot do ABC, I cannot do, because they are limited by the law. So this is what we are trying to help them, first to understand this, so that they will have a good um, way of handling and manage this um, setup. The induction workshop also focuses on how office bearers can mobilize resources instead of only waiting for the government to avail funds. In the workshop, we are telling them, go back, tell your community that they need at least to pay for the services rendered to them because they need funds. Without funds, they cannot do anything. So it's the community that will enable, you know, pays for the services and then the councillors will be able now to deliver. So it's a question of fund. Because, you know, the anticipation was that maybe it's a central government that would then, you know, give money. Government will not give money. Go money is to be generated within a given local authorities. Now for the regional council, yes, the go central government is budgeting for this um, regional council. But it cannot budget to their expectation. Among the major topics include the question of infightings among office bearers, to which Utoni attributes to a lack of understanding by the incoming leaders. A question of interference. Uh, for example, you have a councillor who was just elected because he made a lot of promises. And when he comes in the office, he asks, Let's say, for example, you are a mayor or you are a chairperson at the Madani Committee or the council, regional council. Then you, because you promise that you are going to put up project what, 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 what. Now when you come into the office, you start demanding from the officials, administrators, how much do we have in our kitty? And then they will tell you, no, we only have um, uh, 500,000. And then you demand that I want this 500,000 to be used for this project A. And then the officials, they will tell you, no, mayor or chairperson of the management committee or honorable councillor, this money is allocated to sub-vote and is specific for a vote for whatever, 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 whatever. Now, because you are the elected powerful somebody there, you put pressure on them and then they succumb to you. And then we are saying, now when the administrators succumb to you, there is a process to account for those money. How are you going to account? Because the Auditor General is coming, going to come and audit. Would you be able to count for this money as a councillor? The last induction workshop to be held in Okahanja will be for the newly elected local authority councillors who succeeded in the election rerun in the South that took place last month. Timo Andreas, NBC News, Okahanja.